Hello everybody, this is Danilo Cuellar from PeacefulAnarchism.com out here in the beautiful nature once again with you all. The spontaneous order that surrounds us. I was at a playground with my kids and there was a sprinkler there. And many kids were running into the sprinkler having fun, getting wet. And then when they would be soaking wet, they would come back to their parents and say, give me a towel. Very often the parents would look at their child and say, I don't have a towel. We didn't prepare for a sprinkler. And the kids would be surprised and sad that they don't have a towel and a change of clothes. And it got me to reflect on an analogy of kids who do not think about the future. They do not consider the consequences of their actions and are shocked and surprised at what results. As being compared with Keynesian economics. In Keynesian economics, which is that economic system that the Federal Reserve and the US federal government adheres to is one of debt and consumption. The focus is on spending. Is there a problem? Print more money. Spend. Encourage spending. Stimulate spending. Lower interest rates. Encourage borrowing. Spending more without regard to the future. Who will pay that cost? Who will bear that debt? Is it possible to print indefinitely? Is that how you get out of a depression? Is that how you get out of a recession? John Maynard Keynes, the founder of Keynesian economics was most famously quoted as saying, in the end, we are all dead, end quote. Now this seems to allude to the idea that why must we save and conserve or produce when we will be dead in the end? Why must we work? Why must we, why must we put away for future generations? Now, according to Austrian economics, the focus is not on consumption and spending. No, that would be impossible. The focus is on creation of wealth, is on savings. For without the creation of wealth, there is nothing to spend and there is nothing to consume. The entrepreneur is the true driver of the economy, the businessman, the person who can take scarce resources and transform them into a thriving business or produce goods that other people value, that lifts them out of their poverty, that raises standard of living. That is the true driver of the economy. That is the true source of prosperity. The focus is on savings and investing and producing. The creator is the means by which a thriving civilization is realized. That person must be revered and encouraged. Without that person, civilization is nothing. We are nothing. It is not about spending. It is not about consumption. That would be what's known as the broken window fallacy, which asserts that if a window is broken, it is a good thing because it gives jobs to window makers and the window maker has more money. So he gives jobs to his massage therapist, to his grocery store, to wherever he goes to spend his money. And so the takeaway with this logic is that destruction equals prosperity. But this is impossible. Destruction does not equal prosperity. If we take that to its logical conclusion, that would mean that if destroying a window is beneficial to the economy, why not destroy the entire building? Why not destroy the entire neighborhood? Wouldn't that be even better? For then, all those construction workers would have much work to do in rebuilding. Why not destroy an entire city? How far are you willing to go with this logic? No. Destruction of wealth does not equal prosperity. Destruction of wealth is merely destruction of wealth. If the business owner had not destroyed or had his window destroyed, that money that he spent on that window might have been put to better use to something else that he wanted that would have improved his quality of life. Perhaps he could have put it towards improving his product, improving his service, making his customers that much happier. However, that is lost in the destruction because the destroyed item must be replaced. No, consumption and spending does not equal prosperity. The beauty of the modern world and the luxuries that we all enjoy were created by somebody who wanted to make a living for themselves and support their family but also improve the lives of millions of people. We should be supremely grateful for this. This is what distinguishes us from the dire poverty that has plagued humanity for time immemorial. Most, the large majority of our ancestors never experienced the magnificent luxuries that we all experience today. Simple 
luxuries, cars, shoes, clothes, heating, AC, refrigeration, electricity, simple things, and is due to the creative spirit of the human mind, the entrepreneur, the businessman, the man who takes nothing, pours his hard-earned currency, blood, sweat, and tears, and produces something of value. And in the process, hires people and helps them support their families. This is the person that must be revered and respected. We must realize what is the true driver of the economy, the creative spirit. Thank you very much for listening. This is Danilo from PeacefulAnarchism.com. Enjoy the magnificence. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see more of it, please feel free to donate and help me interview other fascinating people. You can do so through Patreon. That's patreon.com slash peaceful anarchism to help me out. A dollar a show is all I ask. If you feel so inclined to donate more, please feel free. It will only assist me in spreading the message of freedom and volunteerism that much farther and that much more efficiently. You can also donate to my Bitcoin. My Bitcoin address is in the description to my videos as well as on my website, peacefulanarchism.com. And while you're on my site, there's a donate button to donate through PayPal. If you prefer to donate through PayPal, you can do so with that. But Patreon is a little bit easier for content creators as you can set up a recurring donation if you so desire. Also, while you're on my website, peacefulanarchism.com, please feel free to sign up, enter your email address, sign up for my newsletter, and you'll receive updates every time I post something, a video or an interview. I do not send out any spam. Or you can also follow me on Facebook under facebook.com slash peaceful anarchism or facebook.com slash Danilo Cuellar 3, I believe. Danilo Cuellar 3. So either, either one of those methods, if you are able to donate, I would be most appreciative. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you have a magnificent day.